And welcome to All Saints Beckham Online Light Service. Now, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Abby, and the Light Service is my absolute favourite event of the year. I love it. And so I was really disappointed when I realised that we couldn't do it quite in the same way that we usually do. But I'm so glad that we're still able to put something on for you this year. And I really, really hope that you enjoy yourselves. Now to make sure that everyone gets the most fun they can possibly get out of this, as well as learning loads about our amazing God, you should have received some packs in the post if you told me you'd be watching in advance. If you didn't receive these packs, it's absolutely fine, because if you click the links below, you'll be able to find everything we're using, using here today. So we have some light service bingo cards with some rather silly things written on them. If four of the things on your card happen, you can claim a prize off of your parents. We have some prediction cards with some rather silly predictions that I would like you to make about the service. Again, if any of your predictions come correct, then you can claim a prize off your parents. And then we have some colouring in sheets, which will be explained later on in the service. And there's some craft material. I'm not going to say who's doing our craft for today, because that will give away one of the predictions. But somebody we all know and love and is amazing is going to be doing some crafting for us today. I love the light service. I think it's such an amazing time to really and truly explore Jesus and how he is the light of the world. Um, especially this year when things might have seemed a little bit dark. And I'm so glad you're all here watching today. I'm going to start by praying and then we're going to hear some worship. Dear Jesus, I thank you so much for everyone who is watching this service today, or whatever day they are watching. I pray that they get so much out of it, that they, this isn't just another silly YouTube video, but I pray that, that all the people watching this video learn something new about you and learn something new about their relationship with you and how you love them so much. So I pray for fun and I pray for excitement and I pray for a deeper relationship with you our amazing creator in heaven. Amen. And now, over to worship. Fire, I feel it in my bones, in my bones 
turns off now. Yep. So how are we all doing with our bingo cards and our predictions? You should have definitely crossed a few things off by now. And your first prediction, can I balance this toilet roll on my head for the whole of my talk? Let's see. So for those of you that have been to our light parties before, you'll know that obviously this year is a little bit different. In the past we've had a Star Wars theme party, then we were at the circus, and this time last year we were all in our pyjamas. Do you know what? Maybe you're in your pyjamas right now. Who knows? It's a Saturday afternoon and it's been a weird year. There is no judgement. But whatever you're wearing, and whatever time of day it is, whenever you're watching this, our Bible still contains amazing truths for our lives. Often, at this time of year, we hear a Bible verse that we find in John's Gospel, that's where Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Jesus is the light that overcomes darkness. Jesus is the light that wins. And this year, maybe things have felt a little bit darker than usual. But Jesus is the light of the world. But that's not the verse that we're going to be looking at today. We're going to be looking at a verse in Ephesians. A verse all about us. It says, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. It says that we are God's handiwork. We are God's masterpiece. We are God's greatest creation. In our first book of our Bibles, in Genesis, it says that we were created in the image of God. And here it says we were created in Christ Jesus. So if Jesus is the light of the world and we were created in him, then we have the amazing responsibility and the amazing privilege to share that light with the rest of the world. And what I think is most amazing about that is that we will all do it in our own special ways. So here in front of me, I've got a few props. This wooden thing here that I've got, this is a candle holder. And this glass thing, this here, this is a candle holder. Any guesses what we're going to hold up next? This here, this is not a candle holder. This is a green dinosaur. And this metal thing here, this is a candle holder. All of these candle holders are different. They were all made out of different things, and yet they were all made with the same purpose in mind. The purpose of holding a light and sharing that light. Shedding light on anything that is around it, anyone who is around it. And I think we are a little bit like that. I think we were made like that as well, our purpose in life. We might all be made differently, but our purpose is to share the light of Jesus. And we can do that in so many different ways. We can do that by helping people in need by being a good friend, and by making good decisions in life that help other people. You will do incredible things in your life that I can't do. Because that verse said that God prepared special works in advance for us. But each of those works is different. You will do special things in your life because you are special and unique and different. You will do things that I could never do. And I think that's so cool. So in your colouring in packs, in the resource pack that I sent you, there's a colouring in sheet with loads of words on it. And you can colour this in many different ways. So maybe you want to take the words that relate to you and colour them in big, bright, bold colours to show these are the words that you think make them like you. And maybe you want to take uh, your favourite colours and colour them in the words that relate to you. Maybe you don't want to colour in the other words at all. And there's some boxes to fill in as well. I'm going to show you mine now. Keep your eyes peeled, because there's one word on here that you had to predict what colour I was going to colour it in. So this is my sheet here. Can you see it? This is my sheet. What I love about this is there are 100 children at All Saints, and I know that no two of you would colour this sheet in the same way. Even though loads of you are funny and loads of you are silly, loads of you like gaming, loads of you are tall, loads of you like football, loads of... These words relate to loads of you. And yet I know that no two of you would colour this in the same way because you are all different, you are all unique, and you are all so amazingly special and made in the image of God. 
And so we're going to listen to a song now, and I would love for you to colour this sheet in as you listen to this song together and hear the amazing news about how God is so good to all of us. So I'd love for you to listen to this song and colour in this sheet and remember how amazingly brilliant and unique and special you are. I'm so thankful that Jesus showed us that he is the light of the world and so we can ask him to shine his light into any situation we're worried about or we're hopeful about, anything that's happening in our lives or in the world, we can bring them to him in prayer. 
I'm going to pray now and when I pray Jesus light of the world if you want to join in with my prayer you could say shine your light today Jesus light of the world shine your light today shall we pray almighty God you made the whole world and everything in it we bring to you now any parts of the world that need your particular help at the moment. We thank you that in you there is peace and justice and hope. We ask that you would bring your peace where there's conflict, your justice where there's unfairness, and your amazing hope, which is the most powerful thing in the universe, to any situation where there is despair. We pray for Armenia and Azerbaijan. We pray for Nigeria. And there might be particular places that you want to pray for. So let's do that now. Lord Jesus Christ, light of the world, shine your light today. And loving Lord, we cut you come close to all who are struggling and we know that in our city, there are people who are struggling today. We know that there are families and people who are finding things hard. We pray that you will provide for everyone who doesn't have enough to eat or a warm, safe home to go to. Seems very unfair that there are some people who don't have enough where well, there are others that have so much. So we pray, Lord God, that your kingdom of justice and generosity would come here in London, here in Peckham, as it is in heaven. Thank you for the charities and the people who are helping. Please give them the energy and the imagination and the strength they need. We pray that if people are sad, you will bring them comfort. We pray that if people uh, are lonely, you will bring them friendship and love. And we pray that we as your church would bring your light and hope to people. Jesus, light of the world, shine your light today. Holy Spirit, you fill us with your light and love. We thank you for the people in our lives and you might just now want to think about anybody you want to pray for, people that you love, your friends and family, anybody who needs particular help at the moment. Lord, we thank you that you hear our prayers. We pray for those we love. We ask that you would shine your light into their lives and help us to shine with your light so that the whole world would come to see how good you are. Jesus, light of the world, shine your light today. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you hear our prayers. We thank you that you are the light of the world and that all those who walk in darkness can know your light. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hello everyone. Happy light party. It's time for the craft. Isn't it amazing that God has made us just how we are? In your party pack, you should have all the materials you need. A piece of wood and a mirror. Some pens and some special stickers. Um, if you don't have that pack, don't worry. You can definitely make this yourself. If you've got a notepad like this at home, take the back. There's some really strong cardboard there. Draw yourself a mirror shape and get an adult to help you cut it out. If you've got the kit from Abby, you just need to peel off the paper and stick the mirror in the middle of your wood. If you are making one by yourself, get some tin foil. Very carefully cut out the shape that you need. And you can stick that on to be your mirror. Think carefully about how you want to decorate your mirror. Make it really personal. So, I like swimming. I'm going to do 
some blue waves all around the edge. I really love going to the seaside. So I'm gonna do some yellow sand around the edge. As you know, I love painting and drawing. So I'm gonna decorate my handle with a pencil and a paintbrush. and a felt tip pen. I also like making cakes, so I'm gonna put a spoon here. Cakes. So, I'm gonna carry on decorating my mirror, choosing my favorite color, which is purple. I'm going to use purple jewels. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I was seven years old, I would use seven jewels. Or if I was six years old, I would use six jewels. If I was 10, I would use 10. How about think about some of the things that you like? I quite like watsits. I'm gonna draw some watsit shapes on my mirror. One of my favourite vegetables is peas. I'm going to put three peas in a pattern all around the edge of my mirror. So, my mirror is beginning to look pretty special, like me. Um, don't forget, you can also decorate the back. And one thing that would be really great is to write the Bible verse or get uh, an adult to help you put the Bible verse on the back of your mirror. So on the back of my mirror, I am going to write the Bi today's Bible verse. On the back, I've done some bricks because it reminds me that God, God made me. Just like bricks make houses, God makes humans. If you've got time and you've got paint at home, why not give your uh, mirror some colour with some paint? I guarantee it will look beautiful. Another idea, you could stick some beautiful shapes onto your mirror. I'm going to get my crocodile scissors. I'm gonna cut some lovely zigzag shapes. And you can glue those around the edge of your mirror. Maybe when you look at flowers, you think, how amazing that God created something so beautiful. Perhaps you'd like to put some flowers onto your mirror. Now, a good way to do that would be to use tissue paper. Cut out a flower shape, pinch it in the middle, squish it together, and you'll have something that looks a bit like a flower. Get your glue and stick that on your mirror like that. get my beautiful jewel stickers and use them to be the middle part of my flower. And I could even use my felt tip to do some special decoration on the petals. all your favourite colours and take your time. Make it special so that you can keep it and remember how much God loves you. 
Think about all the different patterns that you know. Stripes, zigzags, spots, wavy lines, spirals, ideas have given you some ideas how you can decorate your mirror. These mirrors are good because every time you look in them you can remember wow God made me. He gave me eyes, ears, a nose, a mouth, an amazing brain. He made me and he did a good job. Enjoy the rest of the light party. Hopefully see you soon. Bye everyone.
Amen. Well, this is the end of our light service. Thank you so much for watching. Um, it's been a real fun putting this together for you. And I hope that you've learnt loads about our amazing God, but also how amazing each and every one of you are. And what a privilege it is, what a privilege we all have to share the light of the world, Jesus, with our friends and our family and how we all get to do that in our own different and unique ways. I would love to see all the ways you've been getting involved with this service. So please, if you're on the All Saints Facebook page or the All Saints Kids page, please feel free to post any pictures of things you've been up to. I would love to see them. If not, my email address is below. Please get in contact, send me any pictures or let me know the ways in which you have been engaging with the service. I'd love to see what you've been up to and how many predictions people got correct and how many people won at bingo. Thank you so much for being here and I will see some of you at our Sunday service tomorrow morning. See you later. He's our rescuer. He's our rescuer. We are free from sin forevermore. Oh, how sweet the sound. Oh, how praise the bounds. We will praise the Lord, our rescuer. There is good news for the captain. News for the shame, there is good news for the one who walked away. There is good news for the doubter, the one religion failed, for the good Lord has come to seek and save. He's our rescuer, he's our rescuer, we are free from sin forever. of Calvary There is redemption for every affliction here at the foot of Calvary So come and be chainless Come and be fearless Come to the foot of Calvary